Welcome to Kay Wilcox Studio. My name is Karen Wilcox. I work in figurative and abstract painting and sculpture. My work has shown in over 60 exhibits across the United States since 1994. And I've been showing and exhibiting here at the Northrop King for the last four years. I create paintings and sculpture in various materials. My paintings are oil or acrylic on canvas, paper, and panel. And I also work in a variety of sculptural media, including cast bronze. I have three main bodies of work. In my figurative painting and sculpture, I distort the human body and combine it with other natural forms. In my non-objective or abstract work, it's a more intuitive uh, investigation with paint. I'm working with saturated colors and shifting of time, light, and space. It's more about uh, metamorphosis. In all of my work, I think it's very important that my hand is very evident in the work. My tool marks and my brush strokes show up in the texture of all my pieces. Well, people really do react to the color. They love the color that I use. And I do enjoy experimenting with color relationships and um, the shifting of, of forms, intersecting and, and penetrating shapes on the canvas. My figures are created entirely from my imagination. They're really not meant to be a portrait of anyone in particular. I think that hairstyle and length often are indicators of gender, race, and even a time of history. So my figures are often bald. I think of these figures more as archetypes or Characters in a narrative. Line is very important to my work. Sometimes it's a very crisp line and I'm paying more attention to um, kind of the microcosms of the meeting of the shapes. And at other times they're very gestural and transitory. Uh, my bronzes range in size from about four inches to about 36 inches and they're mounted on a variety of custom stone and bronze bases. This series is related to my two-dimensional painting of the figure. I was working with the paintings for quite a number of years and decided to try to create these in three dimensions. It was very interesting for me to walk around the pieces and find out what was on the other side. This is one of my newest paintings. It's part of a series of scrolls that I am creating as part of a larger project. I take symbolism from many different cultures that I've researched and integrate it with my own inventions in order to create my own symbolism. You know, I found that uh, making preparatory sketches in a sketchbook really slows my creative process down. So I prefer to begin working full scale on the prepared surface. I start with vine charcoal and I make gestural marks, drawing and erasing and building up the composition a little by little. After the drawing is finished, then I completely obliterate it by layering on layers of oil paint and laying down um, wide marks of oil stick. And that way I continue to work with the color, warm and cool, light and dark, blending to bring out the volume of some forms, and constantly shift um, some areas forward and while pushing other areas back. I like to work in series. 
This is a series entitled Seer. I have cast multiples of these heads in hydrocal and then I paint each one individually with oil and acrylic paint. They can be presented as individual work, but um, I like to see them as a group in dialogue with each other. With this piece, it is a transition between my Abyssio Corpus abstract painting series and my return to work with the figure. Here I'm trying to integrate the figure directly into abstract shapes. I think sometimes people really do connect with my work and at other times it's a little more difficult for them to understand it. My work comes from a very personal part of myself and I would say that a lot of it does deal directly with my personal experience, but I prefer to leave the interpretation open to the viewer. I want people to bring their own stories to my work.